ladies and gentlemen, this is your host, Star Destroyer Gaming. We are here with our next episode of our ultra-realistic Fallout 4 uh, ultra-modded um, playthrough. And this will be the episode in which we begin to go into Sanctuary. Last episode, we had a, uh, it was a little building episode. We kind of built things up, got a little bit more power going. Almost doubled the amount of power. Ran up some more street lights, improved some of these sanctuary houses here. As you can tell, we kind of got those nice roofs put in, so there's not just gaps in there. And then kind of reinforced the back walls. That was the last, last episode. And then we started just a little bit of putting in decorations, but mostly it was uh, a lot of electrical stuff, especially wiring these new houses and putting in, like, so you've got a turret up there. A little bit more defenses and wiring houses, and then we also, at the very end, for, uh, put in some new plant plots. And at the very end, kind of reinforce some of the rear areas here that were just wide open. We'll move these somewhere else later, because there's plenty of fences that need to be repaired. But this right here replaces those big gaps in the hedge line. There was just a fence here, so anybody kind of coming from the outside and this is all kind of whatever attacked. So life, I uh, you. we don't want anything just wandering in from out there, because the Commonwealth is so dangerous. So this is all now sealed off, but there's still big gaps in the hedge line. And a huge gap right by the Vault 111 entrance as well as this whole corner here and that corner that's not fortified at all so we need to um get working on that and then look at this totally unfortified totally open so very scary but we need more supplies and for that we're gonna go into lexington we also got two level ups here so we can take a look at that right now um that's just from all the building um, oh, and we also built up a bunch of guns for our settlers to use once we have more, because I like them all having a standard as weapons, so we give them a nice pipe gun. I like the idea of this master lock here. I don't know, I kind of also want, like, another rank of that, but... I think the master lock and the advanced terminals... That'll let us to get... That'll let us kind of hack our way into anything that we find, honestly. So that should be good. Um... At least here in the immediate future, there's almost no like high-level terminals in the game. Almost all the t uh, first of all, there's I, I read a guide once, and I think it was like there's like I don't know like five like five safes of various kinds for every kind of terminal that's locked, um, or five locks five lock picking locks for every like lock safe in the game. So it's a lot better to get the lock picking, but we may as well pick up that at just the advanced. There's not that much that's advanced out here. Um, but, uh, you know, that's fine. Maybe maybe we'll get that expert level later. I also really want to level up some more so we can get those those lucky looter levels up, or whatever it's called. Uh, here we go. We got plenty of food now since we cooked all of our food the episode, and I discovered a new recipe in the game called um, Gutworm Colony that will cure your illness, give you rads, but cures your illness, which is really nice. really disgusting. It's just a literally a ball of, like, radioactive, like, mites that you're just, like, shoving down your throat, but it said that it fixes disease, and it actually did, so that could be a good alternative to antibiotics. It takes, like, nuclear material, um, mongrel meat, and, like, purified water, I think, so not too hard to make. Um, otherwise, we just cooked out everything else, so we're doing good there. Let's eat. Uh, do we have any, do we bring any melons? No, we did not. Okay, so we'll need to eat and medicate separately. Not medicate. Oh, there we go. We've already got some action I'm hearing. Let's begin to sweep building by building here. Got one. Those are ghouls, I think, that, that they're fighting. Oh, no, we got Protectrons or something. Oh, okay, it looks like just like some scavengers. Let's uh, begin our exploration here. We got someone's home number three. Probably should have brought the shotgun because I'm always in interior spaces, but right here, boom. That's it. Modded. Cracked that in no time. See, right here, modded structure. Let's go on in and see what we can find. Quite interesting. I'm like expecting. Okay, this is just a cat. This is just full of cats. That's cool. So since this is locked, you would expect it to just be full of stuff. Like, there's no, you know, nobody's ever been in here. I don't know why, but it looks like no one's ever managed to get in here. 
This mod, the one thing that I don't like about this mod, I have run with it one other time, and there can be kind of like, almost like a ridiculous amount of loot, but most of it's like garbage, which most people don't really care about, although I do. So you could say that makes it a little bit unbalanced. See, like, why would there be a death flag in there? But like, it's fine. But, oh, I hear a ghoul. I think it's the crazy cat lady. Upstairs, probably in a locked room. Otherwise, she'd be eating her cats right now, I imagine, or something. I don't know if ghouls would do that, but. Excuse me, cats, and I will not be killing cats, because that is just messed up. Oh my god! Not something that you want to see there on your regular day to day. There's something radioactive down there, so let's uh, shovel a radix down our gullet. I want to kill the glowing one. Ah, oh, we got illness. Good thing we got gut worms to take care of it. What the hell is that? Which is left. We got. I thought I saw someone else, like a wastelander or something. Like that. I wonder if I kill the glowing one, will all these other guys become hostile? I don't know. Ah, see, this is so much better to use, but, oh, well, we don't even have any ammo for it. Ooh, master lock. Glad we got that picking there. But yeah, I am. So there's, anyway, so there's a mod that reduces the overall amount of loot in here. Got it. Um, uh, called the Lexington, like, loot reduction patch for people who think it's unbalanced. And I had that for my last playthrough, but for this one, the mod author made the mod private. I don't know why. I was not able to use it. Sadly. Oh my god, so many supplies for Sanctuary. I guess the glowing one just, like, gives off radiation. Near me. Oh, an expert lock here. If there's lots of these, like, locked containers, then we can expect to get a lot of XP just from picking all these locks. And let me tell you, we got, like, a bajillion bobby pins for some reason, so... Nice. That could be useful. I love all the use of, like, the custom textures and stuff down here. Yeah, I guess the glowing one, I guess the crazy cat later isn't eating her like kids. Down here. Yikes, you guys are creepy. Can I... Okay, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to have to use the console to to clip past. Just because, unless you're not supposed to go into here. Oh no, you're not supposed to go into here. My bad. Oh. Oh my god. It just attacked one of the cats. Toggle collision. I thought... Is it hostile? I can hear it up there. And I don't have a ton of really good... I have the mine. I do have ammo for this now. Um, 35... Man, I don't want to kill the cats, but there's... I think we're trapped with a hostile glowing one. Ooh. I killed a cat. Holy fuck. What the hell's going on? What's all this? Motherfucking shit! Okay. Um, we reloaded. Where is it? Let's just toss a grenade up there. Oh, we got it. Thank God. I'm sorry, cats. That was collateral damage. I literally hate killing cats. Damn, son. I am so sorry, you guys. Oh, no. I feel so bad. That's like the worst feeling ever, literally. Oh, we may have another ghoul in here. Considering that door looked kind of closed. Yeah, this is a pretty cool mod. This is, if I didn't mention it, this is Lexington Interiors. Hey, and if 
we need to sleep, we have the chance here. That's nice. Yeah, there's definitely a ghoul behind there. Did I get... Oh, there's the other cat. Yeah, I heard a couple of cats die. That really sucks, but... We were in there with a glowing one, so we didn't have much of a ch ch choice in the matter. I like how it was just mine and then just like... Fra mine 40 mil frag grenade. Like, just use explosives. Honestly, explosives seem like the best way, at least in this ultra modded playthrough, Sweet. to deal with like en heavy enemies. Oh, nope, no, nobody else in here. I like how it's locked for no reason. Oh, what the? F no way. This is kind of broken here. Um, that's broken. Uh, uh, alrighty. Well, we'll just do like charisma. If maybe there's a way to if there's a way to manually reduce our special stats, I will totally do that. Um, we did not. Another master trunk. Yeah, I have no problem with like maybe I can go into the game files and like manually. Yes. Going. I don't know. Look at this. We're, we've looted one house and we're already like over encumbered. Yeah, if all the houses are like this, our our hey. settlement's gonna be in really good shape. Actually, no, Dogmeat, you hold the weapons. Um, compensated heavy sniper rifle. Let's see if we could use that for some good stuff. I want to keep those other two things, because like they could be useful here. Ooh, and we got some nicer armor. It makes sense, because this is like some army guy stuff. Yeah, that pocket hey. of light armor. That's the move for sure. Hey. Yeah. Hello. Hooded rags. I'll take that from you. Okay, that's bugged. I think that's gonna be there for the whole rest of the game. That's fine. <laughs> we just we won't use Cosworth for the whole game, so it won't matter. I just wanna kinda get his affinity perk. There you go, buddy. Take all this junk here off of me. There you go. Come on, take it on. Did I get like missiles or something that's like weighing me down? Oh, yeah, I mean, we got some 40 mil grenades. Oh, yeah, we have seven missiles. Were those in here? That's a little bit out there. Alrighty. Sorry, cats. There we go. There's our second glowing one yes. killed. I want to keep a little tally now I think about it of, of these high level enemies. I'm grabbing paper right now by my desk. Um, let's see here. Death Claws. What? We got three. Glowing one. We've gotten two glowing ones and we've gotten three Death Claws. So we'll be like a big game hunter for the Commonwealth. Although, to be fair, both glowing ones we've killed have been friendly when we've encountered them. So, a little bit unfair to them, but, you know, that that's okay. <laughs> it can't toward the total. I'm sure we'll kill plenty of openly hostile ones. Here we go. Here we are. Wandering about. A new house. Here we go. Someone's home number one. Alrighty. Just right next door, man. You got a whole other house. And I think we'll return to maybe Mystic Pines and drop off our loot so we can loot all of this place and then make one giant run. Does that make sense to y'all? Like, well, instead of going to Sanctuary over and over, oh my god. Why are they not hostile? Okay, before I, oh god, I, there's, there's one that's hostile upstairs. Okay. Ooh, a lever action rifle. Too bad we don't have any 4570 ammo. And it's lucky, which is not that good, but... Oh, shit! That scared the fuck out of me. Holy fuck. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe the loot is guarded, like, to an appropriate degree, though. You guys know what I'm saying? Like, maybe it's, like, kind of fair. Um, because... Oh, man. This was our last save. Are you serious? Come 
on, out of the out of the way, you freaking cat. Oh my god, that just killed me instantly. We took a took a limb off the glowing one though. Alright, well now we're back in this this tough situation. I needed to quick save before entering every house. Also, uh, we just crashed, so that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna end the video there. Just a very beginning to the Lexington playthrough. The key is just to not die, and then we'll have a very solid playthrough. So I'm just gonna just not die in the future. Um, should have thought of that one sooner. Um, but anyway, I hope that you guys did enjoy the video. I know it was a short one. Still have another one coming out real soon, and uh, we'll continue on our uh, conquered expo or on our lesson exploration. But for now, y'all, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. This is your host, Starter Show Gaming, signing off.